Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is a singer and songwriter known for being the frontwoman of rock band Fleetwood Mac, but also for her extensive solo career. Um, her musical career started in the early 70s, really reached great proportions when she joined Fleetwood Mac in the late 70s. It's quite a popular lady, this Stevie Nicks. She has been dubbed the queen of rock and roll, and she has quite a distinctive, iconic style that she wears that is very recognizable as being hers. This style developed in the 70s and has kind of been drifting through, incorporating trends from, you know, every decade that she was in, but uh, always maintaining that base of this very bohemian look. Lots of flowy materials, long dresses, lots of black. She wore loads of black and, of course, the iconic top hat. So today I'm going to try and recreate Stevie Nicks' iconic look. I went for a look from the uh, late 70s, early 80s, and this is what I came up with. So let's get started with the makeup right away. I'm going to start with a layer of foundation. This is just going to even out my skin tone, make a nice base for the rest of my makeup. So when that's blended out, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer on my dark circles, just to make sure they are completely gone. Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going to start with a light eyeshadow, a light skin colored eyeshadow, it's a little bit lighter than my own skin tone, and I'm going to place this on the moving part of my eyelid. Then I'm going to combine a dark grey and a dark brown color, and I'm going to apply this in my crease quite heavily, um, and I'm going to first just keep it in my crease, and then later I decided to sweep it onto my eyelid just a little bit to blend it out a little bit more. Stevie Nicks' look is very much about these kind of round doll eyes, so I'm going to try and recreate that by making this quite pronounced crease. And then I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner. This is something that she did um, from way in the beginning of her career. She always lined her bottom waterline with a white eyeliner, so I'm going to do that as well. And then I'm going to take a black eyeliner and apply that just underneath my lash line. I'm just going to apply a little bit and then take a little smudger brush and smudge this out to make it a little bit more soft and smoky. I'm going to do the same thing on my top lashes. And then I just decided to go back into my crease with a little bit of black eyeshadow to just deepen it up even more. A little bit of mascara finishes this look off. And there is the eyes done. So for my cheeks, I'm going to apply a bronzer. Um, Stevie Nicks in many photos is wearing this kind of orange um, toned blusher. So I'm just going to use a bronzer for that purpose and apply it all over my cheeks, starting quite high and blending downwards. And then for lips, I'm going to apply a red lipstick, which is something she wore a lot around that time. Okay, now what is really iconic about Stevie Nicks is her hair. Um, especially late 70s, early 80s, she had this very signature kind of tousled hairstyle. So I'm going to recreate that by curling my hair first. So I'm going to spray it with a heat protector just to guard my hair from the heat that I'm going to apply to it because I'm going to use a curling iron and I am just going to take random sections of my hair. I'm not going to worry about this too much. These curls are just to create texture and that kind of um, naturally curly, I didn't really do much with my hair hairstyle. So just curling random pieces of hair in random directions. Um, sometimes I'm twisting the hair around the curling iron, sometimes I'm wrapping it. Just whatever happens, happens. And when all of my hair is curled, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to completely cool down. And then I'm going to take a dry shampoo and I'm going to apply this all over my hair. So to my roots, but also to the lengths of my hair. And this is again going to help uh, give my hair a little bit more texture, make it look a little bit more um, natural. And then I'm just going to rub this in, shake my hair up. And yeah, you can already see this really gives that kind of typical Stevie Nicks textured hairstyle. Alright, so then of course we need to create some bangs. So I'm going to take a little section of hair from the front of my face and I'm going to use my fake bangs uh, technique for this. I have a separate video for that if you want to watch it. But basically you just take the hair, twist it, and then you pin the twist right above your ear and then just adjust this a little bit to make it look like um, slightly swept bangs. And then a top hat really finishes the look off. This is the signature Stevie Nicks thing to wear, a top hat. So there is your Stevie Nicks look already done. This is quite a simple one this time. 
and I'd say pretty wearable as well, but definitely her signature look, I really like it. So I really hope you like it as well, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Beauty Beacons videos. If there is any historical beauty icon, um, beautiful lady from anywhere in history, let me know in the comments below and I will look through and pick someone out for next time. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!